Hello, rising seniors and parents. We are posting this video to give you some information about filling out your final high school course request form. So congratulations on making it to your senior year. So a couple weeks ago, counselors were in classes assisting students in filling out a transcript evaluation form. This was a form that allowed them to analyze their current credits and the classes that they're currently in so that they could better plan for the classes that they need to choose for their final year of high school. If you missed that explanation or you still have some questions, we posted a video on our HoopTube channel on YouTube to help explain some of this. So the video is called Transcript Evaluation Explanation. So feel free to go look at that if you have any questions about your current credits before you start the course request process. So I've posted here the graduation requirements so that you can have them in front of you and, and take a, a glance at them. I'm not going to walk through all of them. I just want to talk about the last line there that says three credits in an elective focus. Throughout your high school career, you have probably taken several classes that were not core classes, but they were electives. So by the time you graduate next May, we need to be able to have three elective credits that are in the same focus area. And so I've listed for you here the focus areas that we have at Udawa High School. Um, you can see them on your screen. So by the time you graduate, you will need to have three electives in any one of these categories. Now, if you are at Harrison Bay, your elective focus is with Harrison Bay. And if you are an IB student, your elective focus is with IB. Otherwise, this is where your three electives must come from. If you have any questions about that after we walk through the course request process, you can email your counselor. And I have put the counselor emails here on the screen, um, just in case you need to get to that email quickly. If you are an IB student, you can see Ms. Hitchcock's email is also there. And if you're a Harrison Bay Future Ready student, Ms. Hull's email is also there. So if you have any questions, please let us know. So let's get started on filling out the course request form. You find it by going to the OHS website and clicking on the Rising Senior course request information. And there are gonna be two forms. One is gonna be for Rising Seniors and one is gonna be for a Rising Senior Harrison Bay student. We're asking that every rising senior fill out one or the other of these course request forms. So let's get started at looking at that. Make sure that you read through every section of the course request form. It has lots of good information in it, but I do want to point out that course selections are final, so please choose carefully. This is how we build our master schedule, so we need you to choose carefully the courses that you would like to take. So there's a place for you to put your last name, Fill that in. And then there's a place for you to put your first name. There's also a place that is asking if you want to be a December graduate. This means that you only need four or fewer classes to graduate. And I hope that you've talked with your counselor about this already. But if you choose to be a December graduate, you need to put yes here. If you have no plans to do that, please choose no. And this is a required question for you to fill out. Also, there's a place for your phone number. We're asking for a phone number because we often work in the summer on your schedule and we need to be able to get in touch with you about any questions that we have. So you can put um, a student phone number here, a parent phone number, a home phone number, whatever number you feel most comfortable giving out so that we can reach you in case we have questions. So let's go on down to the English section. You need to choose one English class. We have English 12. We have dual enrollment, Composition 1 and 2. We take Composition 1 in the first term and Composition 2 in the second term. If you're choosing dual enrollment, there are some requirements that must be met. You must have a 2.85 GPA to take any dual enrollment class. And there is an application process that you must complete. So if you choose any dual enrollment class on this course request, Ms. Manning will be reaching out to you with information about how to complete that process. There is also the choice of AP, Lit, and Comp, and that will be a year-long class. IB English 2, if you are currently in IB English 1, and then if you're an English language learner, you will choose ESL. We have this other block here 
for students who may have failed a previous English class, if you have failed English 9, 10, or 11, and you have not done credit recovery, you may also check this box and fill in the course that you need to repeat. Let's move on to math. I hope by now that you have successfully taken Algebra 1, Geometry, and Algebra 2. And so now we have a list of some of the fourth math classes that you can choose. We have Honors Pre-Cal, we have AP Calculus, Part 1 and Part 2. We have Applied Mathematical Concepts, Statistics, Dual Enrollment Probability and Statistics. Or if you are currently in IB Math, you can choose your IB Math class there. Again, there is an other box here for any math class that you may have failed and not completed credit recovery for. We do have Algebra 2 listed at the top, but Algebra 1 or Geometry, you would need to type into this line here. Foreign Language. This is a category that you may have already completed the graduation requirement for. If you have taken two classes in the same foreign language, you do not have to choose a class in this category. So if you have had French 1 and French 2, or Spanish 1 and Spanish 2, or German 1 and German 2, you do not have to choose a class in this category. However, if you would like to further your studies in foreign language, we have an Honors French 3 and an Honors Spanish 3 that would be an elective class, and that is a humanities elective there. If you are currently taking IB, French, or Spanish, you may choose your second course in this category. So again, this category could be left blank if you have already met the graduation requirement for foreign language. Science. If you have already taken three science classes, you have already taken biology, you've taken chemistry or physics, and you've taken a third elective science, you do not have to choose a class in this category either. However, if you have not taken your three science credits, you need to choose accordingly. You need to make sure that you have a biology credit, a chemistry or physics credit, and a third science. IB students, you can see that your IB biology or IB physics is listed here for your second class there. Social studies. Almost every senior is going to need to take government or economics. Um, to complete their social studies graduation requirement. So we have here that you need to select two because they are quarter classes. The only time you would only choose one is if you're choosing IB History of the Americas. That is one full credit class. The rest of the seniors need to choose either U.S. government or AP U.S. government, and then we pair that with economics. So choose one of these two as well as economics uh, to complete this section. In the other requirements, you will only need to choose a class in this section if you have failed wellness or if you failed PE personal finance. If you have passed these courses, please leave this blank. You may not take them again. You only can earn one credit in those classes, so you can leave this blank if you have satisfied those graduation requirements. Then we have listed some other electives. We have your IB electives here. If you took an IB elective your junior year. This is the second part that you may choose there. Again, if you did not take IB art or psychology your junior year, you would leave this blank. There are some dual enrollment electives that we offer on this campus. We have dual enrollment psychology and dual enrollment speech. Again, you must have a GPA of 2.85 or higher, and you'll have to create, uh, I'm sorry, complete an application in order to take those classes. So Ms. Manning will reach out to you if you choose one of these, but both of those would be humanities electives. So now I'd like to move on to the electives. We're asking for students to choose their top five electives, and we want you to choose them in the order of importance. So you will notice when you click on the elective courses that they are listed by focus areas. So we have all the humanities listed first, then we have the fine art classes listed next, so if you have not completed the fine art graduation requirement, you need to choose one of these courses to complete that requirement. And that should be your first elective choice because we need to make sure that you get that course in your senior year. Then we have office management listed, our marketing classes listed, human services listed, culinary arts, audio visual. And then we have some courses listed down below that do not count towards any major study, the PE, weight training, and the teacher's aid do not count towards any course of study, but they can count towards the number of 
credits that you have towards graduation. Work-based learning and application is required to Ms. Kibble, and the application is on our OHS website. So you must, com if you choose this course, you must complete that application and get it turned into Ms. Kibble. And it can count towards any course of study as long as you have a job that is related to your course of study. And Ms. Kibble can give you some more information on that when you fill out the application. So you're going to choose the elective that is most important to you. And again, if you have not met the graduation requirement for fine art, you need to choose a fine art as your first elective. So I'm going to choose that as my first one. And then I'm going to go in my second choice and I'm going to choose a different class. And I'm choosing classes that interest me, not that interest anyone else or my best friend, but the classes that I would like to take. So make sure you go through and choose your courses in order, the electives that you would like to take. One thing I do want to point out is you will notice that leadership, JROTC leadership, yearbook, and who club are not listed on the elective choices. All of those require an application and our, the applications are on our OHS website. You must complete those applications and turn them in on time. And then the teacher or the sponsor of the club will let us know the students that have been chosen and we will put those into your schedule and remove one of your elective choices um, to make this fit. So if you're interested in any of these listed here, please make sure you fill out the application by the due date. If you have any questions or concerns about the classes that you've chosen or that you've taken, you can put any concerns here for us to see. And then there is a place for you to sign and for your parent to sign virtually. So you need to type your name here, have your parent type their name here, and then click Submit. Once you submit, your counselor will get your course request options and we'll do our best to make a schedule for your senior year based on the classes that you have chosen. So thanks so much and good luck.